The ESP32 is an amazing chip for building IoT devices because it has Wi-Fi built in. But how do you use it? In this video, I'll show you how to connect the ESP32 to your Wi-Fi network. The first step is to include the Wi-Fi headers. I will do that at the top of my file and I will say include Wi-Fi.h. Now to actually be able to connect to Wi-Fi, we need to know two things, the name of the network that you want to connect to and the password of that network. So at the top of my file, I will define two constants. I will define Wi-Fi underscore network with the name of my network and I will define Wi-Fi underscore password with the password of my network. Next, I will also define a timeout called Wi-Fi underscore timeout underscore MS. And this will control how long the ESP32 can attempt to connect to a Wi-Fi network. You don't want it to keep trying forever. Instead, when you fail to connect to Wi-Fi, it might be better to restart the ESP or to send it into deep sleep mode to save the battery if you have one. Now I will set this to 20 seconds, so in milliseconds that becomes 20,000. Okay, now we're ready to start connecting. I will create a new function called connect to Wi-Fi, and this will take care of all the necessary steps. Now, before we do anything, I will print something to the serial so that we know what the ESP is doing. I'll say serial.print connecting to Wi-Fi. Now, the first step is to set the mode of the Wi-Fi chip. There are basically two modes you can use, SDA or station mode and AP or access point mode. Now, when you want to connect to an existing Wi-Fi network, you have to use station mode. So that's what I will do here. I will say Wi-Fi dot mode and I will pass it Wi-Fi underscore SDA. AP mode can be interesting if you want the ESP to create its own Wi-Fi network. And this can be useful to let someone else configure it by connecting to it. But that's for another video. Now we can ask the ESP to connect to our Wi-Fi network by calling Wi-Fi dot begin and passing along our network name and password. So Wi-Fi underscore network and Wi-Fi underscore password. This will start the Wi-Fi connection process. Next up, we want to keep track of how long the ESP has been trying to connect to Wi-Fi so that we can enforce our timeout. I will do that by creating an unsigned long variable called start attempt time. And I will set this to millis. Now millis is a function that will return the uptime of your ESP32. And so in the start attempt time variable, we will store the time at which we started our Wi-Fi connection attempt. Now we're going to create a while loop that keeps looping as long as we don't have a Wi-Fi connection and as long as we haven't exceeded our timeout. Now we can check the Wi-Fi status by calling Wi-Fi.status. And I'll say that we're going to loop while it is not equal to WL underscore connected. Then to make sure that we're still within our timeout, I will take the current uptime of our board and I will subtract our start attempt time from it. And then we're gonna see and we're gonna make sure that this is still smaller than our Wi-Fi timeout MS variable. So once more, this will keep looping while the Wi-Fi isn't connected and while we haven't reached our timeout yet. Now inside this loop, I'm going to print a single dot to the serial so that we can see some progress. And then I will also add a small delay to it so that this function or this loop doesn't run too fast. Now at the end of this while loop, we have one of two possible situations. Either we are connected to Wi-Fi or we've timed out and we're not connected. So I will check the status again by calling Wi-Fi status and I will check if it's now connected. So I will say if Wi-Fi dot status does not equal WL underscore connected, then I will print something to the serial. I will say serial dot print line 
failed to say that we failed connecting to Wi-Fi. And after this line, you probably want to take some action, like put the ESP into deep sleep for a while or reboot it completely. Now, this depends a bit on your use case and whether or not your board is battery powered. If you're not worried about battery life, then you might not need to time out at all. And you can just let the ESP32 keep trying to connect to Wi-Fi forever. So I will leave this up to you. Now, if the Wi-Fi is connected, I want to print that to the serial as well. So I'm going to say serial.print connected. And we can also print the current IP address of our board by printing Wi-Fi dot local IP. And that is our connect to Wi-Fi function all done. The last thing we have to do before we can flash it is we have to call this function somewhere and I will call it in the setup function. I will say when the ESP boots, we're gonna initialize our serial monitor and I'm gonna say connect to Wi-Fi. I'm gonna save the file and let's now flash it to our board. Quick side note, Behind the scenes, I flashed this exact program to my board, but I did change the Wi-Fi credentials so that they would match with my setup. Now, once the flashing is done, I'm gonna open up the serial monitor. I'm gonna attach it to my board. And as you can see, it says connecting to Wi-Fi, then it says connected, followed by the IP address of our board. So that's how you establish a Wi-Fi connection with the ESP32. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of the series if you want to learn more about Arduino and the ESP32.